What's up everybody, it's Anthony here, we're back with another video. Today we're going to be talking about playing Android games on Windows 11. Let's dive in. Another mastermind hit! Alright, so welcome back to another video. If you're new to my channel, please do me a big favor and go ahead and smash that like subscribe button right now so I can keep making more videos that you will be enjoying in the future. So for all those Android gamers out there, what I have been working on is trying to figure out how we could actually play Android games from the Google Play Store and Windows 11. So what I've done is I've installed a launcher called the Nova Launcher. This is the same launcher I use on my Samsung Galaxy S20 Plus, and uh, I'm using it here on Windows 11. Now you can see some of the games that I have installed and some of the other programs. I'll make this full screen so you can see it better. But you know, all the games you see here, they actually work. I'm going to show you first off, um, and, and also something else I want to <laughs> tell you is that I'm able to use, and this is going to be the real crazy thing, I'm able to use my Xbox 360. Um, I'm sorry, not Xbox 360, Xbox One controller um, with these games. Not all of them, but the ones that are controller friendly, the controller actually works. Um, the first game I'd like to show you just briefly is Asphalt 8. Um, this game has worked on many devices before, um, and Gameloft has done it again. There's no difference here. Um, when you get the game up, it's going to come out in a little window here. But you know we can make it a full screen okay and as you can see we've got sound and it's showing me the keyboard however I do believe it's just doing that because it hasn't necessarily recognized the keyboard yet and that can happen sometimes when you're using Bluetooth so what I actually like to do is when it's not responding, I just plug in the actual game music can get kind of loud. I'll just plug in the actual, you see it says right there, a game pad has been detected. See? Now, as you can see, you can hear me clicking my uh, Xbox controller. Um, so this has me don't want to exit the game. Obviously, I want to play. And you're still going to get all your Windows notifications while you're playing, which that's the only thing I don't like about Windows 11 is it gets a lot of notifications that can be quite annoying. But um, like I said, you can pretty much play just like you would on your device with the controller. Um, if you want to know what I'm running again, if you didn't see that in the last video, I'm running an i9. Uh, Intel i9 Extreme processor with 32 gigs of RAM, and I've got a gigabit NVIDIA graphics card running 4 gigs of RAM. Um, like I said, I just want to show you that, the, that you can actually race. <laughs> I don't know why it's telling me it's going back here. Take. Oh, that's why, because they want me to watch these ridiculous ads. And that's something you can't get away from now on Android, is the ads. Now you can still also use your mouse in conjunction with the keyboard, which I think is great. Um, especially if you, you know, some things you just have to click on them um, to get them to work. And just like this game is kind of like on Android devices, because it is a high graphics game, it is a very, uh, it doesn't load the way some of the other games do. So like I said, we're just being patient and letting it load up here. But, but I can assure you the game does load, and, and I'm going to wait for it to load so you can see that it actually plays. Because I have played this game uh, since I installed it. Um, it seems like every time I want to show somebody something, it's always going slower than what it does. Here we go. And, you know, what I like about this game is you can play uh, people or computers online or whatever. But as you can see, um, and I don't have the frame rate up. I'm, I haven't got that nerdy. But you can see this game is playing pretty smooth. You don't really see... A massive amount of lag. Well, I guess I went hit. <laughs> and I just want to give you some ideas on what the gameplay is like. Like I said, nitros, all those things work. I 
I'm probably not going to win this race. But that's usually what happens when you're trying to show somebody something because you're kind of distracted and trying to make sure that the video plays properly. But Game Loft, hey, you should be pretty proud, Game Loft, because I'm demonstrating here that your game works within Android's play system on Windows 11. I do think, and I haven't tested it yet, but I do wonder if this uh, Android system that they've got here will actually function with Windows 10. So I am going to try an experiment to see. Let's see if we can catch these guys. Look at that. It's time to wreck shop here. Yeah, buddy. And we just need to get this one guy here and we'll and we'll get to him. All right, so it looks like I'm pretty much I'm going to beat this guy. So we're going to see how it goes here. But I'm going to go ahead and just exit out of this game because it doesn't really matter. I just wanted to show you that the game worked. Now I'm going to go to another game that's more of a slot machine game and show you how that works. Uh, so you can kind of see how the slot, ma game, slot game works. Again, it's a little slow to load up too, but uh, like I said, I do have some other programs running in the background. And most of these slot machine games don't work with the controller from what I'm finding out. This one's taking a minute to load, so I'm gonna try a different game. Let's try um this game also works too um it still kind of loads up kind of slow but it does work um and it's just a basic shooting game again um some of these games the landscape will load up with the full screen other ones won't it just really depends on the game but like i said um you know depending on what type of game you are you could probably definitely use emulators as well i haven't done that that'll be a different video so if you'd like to see me do a video with the emulators, um, definitely let me know. Because I'll certainly do an emulator game, a video separately. Um, it says here I don't have enough credits to play this level, so I think I just clicked on the wrong level. See, some of these games are you know hard to understand. Like, I don't really know how to play this game. Um, let me see, go back. Okay, here we go. see how this game does okay yes games pretty snippy pretty responsive and I'm gonna try one more game for those Call of Duty type lovers I'm gonna try this game called Brothers in Arms I think that's what it's called or um, where did it go? Yeah, Brothers in Arms. We're going to try that game. Uh, maybe not. It says connection failed. This game did work, and now it's not. There we go. Put this up on the full screen here. Most of the games, most stuff that, that you have will load pretty quickly. It just depends on what it is. But this game definitely plays. And um, I think it's pretty cool that it does. Especially with the controller. And uh, this little thing down here shows you that the game is loading. Yeah, it's it's pretty cool. All right, press A. Let's see what happens. I press A. It's flashing there. We 
can skip this. Let's see, X. Gotta reload. X. Yeah, I'm getting shot up here, guys. Headshot on this guy. Okay, I upgraded on the weapons here. Okay. Now, there's still, there is a slight little bit of lag, but the game does play. So, you know, like I said, you're getting... There's your partner. So, it's, that's not bad. I mean, it could be better. I'm sure with some tweaks, you could probably get a little bit better gameplay going on. But it does play. So that's some of the games. But like I said, there there are other things that you can do um, besides play games. Like if you like to watch Tubi, um, Tubi works quite well, um, quite impressive. I'm not going to play any content for copyright reasons, but um, it does work. Um, and that that's another thing. There's also a program here called Game Pad Center, and it basically gives you all the games. And like I said, you can go back to your Play Store. And the game, the games, and the apps do update like they're supposed to. Um, and so, if you got updates on here, you'll see um, there's no updates available. But you can also see I have things like YouTube, uh, Canva installed that works very well. I mean, NBA 22 actually loads up as well. I mean, so I mean, I can make music. There's some of the beat drum machines work as well. Um, Power Director, another great program here not really a game but it does actually load up and work here uh, and this is pretty he handy if you like to edit videos on the fly and you're tired of using your phone so um, you know in conclusion I would say right now there's still some tweaking to happen but you know Play Store and Android games are working in Windows 11 this is not a, a beta version this is a full fledged Windows 11 on a compatible system that uh, is meant to have Windows 11 on it so we'll do some more tests in another video. Again, thank you again for being here. Make sure you smash that like, subscribe button, and I'll see you again next time. Peace.